Hey, it's JC at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741931609. I'm supposed to have three boxes of new comics this week. Uh, I've got two boxes. Two of my heaviest boxes are late delayed on some UPS, Twilight Zone, Negative Zone, Phantom Zone, whoever knows whatever zone they're in. But they're not in the hub zone where it was supposed to so I could pick them up. So I've got just this box to process right now. I'll have to process the other two boxes in the morning. So it means it's going to be a much earlier day for me. So I'm going to be like that gum commercial. I'm going to start early and last longer. So it's like Chicklets or Triton or Wrigley's or Big Red or Bubblicious or whatever that, that gum is. Spear, experiment. But we're going to use Chuck here to open this box. Chuck gets the job done. There you go. And we'll put him away. That way he's he's hidden away in case the bad guy shows up. Now, let's see what's in this box. Hopefully I got some good comics in this box, but this is my smallest box. So they sent me air. I got air. I'll take air. Everybody needs air. Air is valuable. Let's see, we got the Beatles Yellow Submarine hardcover. I wonder if there's a Mr. Mr. Psy might want that. Oh, uh, looks like we've got some of the G fans. The G fans still being published. This is issue 120. I wish I would have collected all the G fans when I first started my shop. Uh, and set those aside. It looks like there's no not much as far as comics. This is hardcovers and merchandise. Justice League 100 Greatest Moments. Uh, you know, this thing. These are these are great books. I wish when I was a kid and they had stuff like this. I mean, I had the comics, of course, but I didn't really have great reference books like this here. You know, the 100 you know, greatest moments. You know, what is going to be the greatest moment? The greatest moment. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'll be surprised. This is probably, what, $25? And price is right here on the back like it's not. So let's check on the inside. See if the price is on the inside. Price is not on the inside. Maybe it's on the back cover. Uh, and it is not. Chartwell Books, thank you. You failed. You have no price on your book, Chartwell Books. Let's take a look one more time at this. Man, ultimate fail, Chartwell Books. Very, very bad. Maybe because it was printed in China, maybe that's where maybe that's where the, the ball was dropped. I doubt it. Very, very bad. Usually it's in here in the UPC code. I would have to think this might be $25, but maybe it's maybe it's more. Maybe they're afraid. Maybe this thing's, thing's like a hundred dollars. I don't think so. But Chartwell Books, you failed. You failed. Whoever is responsible for making sure one of the most important things is on the book. The price. You failed. You ultimately failed. Thanks for making my job that much harder. And good thing I checked. Because now I'm going to have to put a sticker on it once I find, once I get my invoice on. My invoice is not in this box. So it's in probably one of my missing boxes. And I'm going to have to go online and, and have a look see to see what the... See what my the price is. There we got the Doomsday Clock. Looks like the cover for the next issue. Finally, maybe we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Superman versus Doctor Manhattan, and look who's pulling the strings. Oh, Ozzy himself, bark at the moon, buddy. We'll put this up someplace where people probably will not notice it. It's very black and white, so it's very, very subtle. Look there, somebody sucked the air out of that one. Here we got some books. We got Royal City. It looks like we have Quantum and Woody. Books I'm not overly excited about reading. And the same with uh, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Um, people are excited about these, but I'm not. These, these aren't must-read books for me. 
Here you got Daredevil, the return of Matt Murdock's twin brother. Really? You guys can't let Mike, you can't let it just be. You gotta try to try to make it into something that it's not. Oh, house of ideas, how far you've fallen. And here we have a very good example. What is this book called? Hmm, I'm not sure what this book is called. It's season 12, that's what it is. Okay, you got Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You've got season 12 up here. How much more effort, Dark Horse? How much more effort, Dark Horse, would it be to put Buffy, season 12, right there? Buffy, season 12. Come on. You know, I know you guys uh, probably like, man, you harp on this all the time. I do, because it makes my job that much harder. And it makes you, the customers, trying to find these comics, it makes it makes it that much harder for you guys, too. You guys think that the shops don't have them. We have them, but you can't find them. It's, uh, it's just, it's a bad, bad habit that the industry has gotten into. A bad, bad habit. Uh, we've got issue number two of Life of Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Ms. Marvel. You got X Men Red with a Fantastic Four variant cover, wearing their red outfits, appropriately enough. Here we got uh, Aberrant. We got a customer waiting on that, so we'll set that aside for him. And we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Killer Croc appearance. I'll set that aside for a customer as well. Although these copies are damaged, so. I guess those copies will not get set aside. That is damaged as well. What about these FFs? Or excuse me, these X-Men Reds. Those seem to be okay. So, we've got damaged copies to deal with. And I know I've got several people that have scribed. It's like, man, every week you get damaged stuff. You are so correct. And I am so, so disappointed to report that. I'd, I'd much rather have zero damages. It'd be so cool to have zero damages. You got Mr. Matterpore number four. I'm going to take a quick look at this and see what kind of... Take a quick look here. It's Storm. This artwork could have been much better. Looks like a return of a major character. You got Penelope Pit Stop and the Scooby Doo team up. You got Old Man Logan, I mean, Old Man Hercules, I mean, Old Man Hawkeye. This hasn't been too bad, although I'm not 100% sure why we needed that. Batman Kings of Fear. I've got a good friend, Paul, who lives over in the Netherlands in Amsterdam. He is a Big, big Kelly Jones fan. I know he's geeking out over that. And look, the Scarecrow's in here too. So I hope you enjoy this, Paul. New Kelly Jones book with Batman. Old Big Ears is back. We've got some variant covers. And those are damaged as well. So I'm going to have to give these Batmans a second look just to make sure because chances are these might be damaged also. Very sorry to hear that. It's very disappointing. We'll put the air back over on the other side. And wow. So virtually, I got virtually nothing in my, uh, in this box as far as the new stuff going out. Virtually nothing. Very disappointing. Planet of the Apes Visionaries, the original uh, Rod Serling uh, adaptation. This is much different than it appeared on uh, in the movies. Be interesting if they would have made it that way. I'm gonna have to give that a look, a read through, and see if there's anything else in here. Nope, that is it. Now. Seems I need to get Chuck back out because we have something in here I need to check. Let's see what this is. So 
some sort of promos maybe. Nope, not promos. It's my Saga trade reorders that I that I needed. Ah, and Port of Earth. That trade as well, and Saga. So that's it for this box. We've got a cool Justice League hardcover that was put out by who's who's the company again? Chartwell Books that doesn't have a price on it. We should check this Beatles Yellow Submarine. Make sure that they've got a price. They do $29.99. Look at that. That's nice, nice right there that you can see that. And look, $14.99, right where the price is. Does this Boom Studios book have a price? $19.99. Well, gosh darn, look at that. And also, it's in the UPC code. Whereas, if we look here, if we look at it, this is $61.48, which actually, it's not $61.48. I know that for a fact. I want to say it's a $25 book, but it might be more. And I've got damaged books and not much else. So, I guess I have my work cut out for me today. And, as always, we'll have... Uh, We'll have the rest of the uh, new comics unboxing tomorrow when I get them in early in the morning. So it's going to be a very long, probably 12, 13 hour day for me. But, you know, when you got to make the donuts, you got to make the donuts. If you, uh, if you like these videos, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Please subscribe. And when you subscribe, well, that's going to be so good. And when you subscribe... Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. That way, you know, when I put these on, you get you get notified. But other than that, hope everybody has a very good August 21st. And uh, talk to you soon. Thanks.